Hey guys, welcome back to this Eric Clapton course and in this lesson we've got something very cool for you. It's a simple rule or kind of like a brain stamp that you can use uh, that's going to be a bit of a game changer I think. So it's this concept of moving between the minor and major pentatonic and I've done courses on it on the past with various players and, and uh, including our Blues Essentials course um, but I've got something here which, which you might really like, especially if you've got on with that previous lesson, this is going to really help you actually physically move entirely into major pentatonic without having to know anything else. Okay, so pick up your guitar and let's get started. Hey everyone, if you've just tuned in, then please remember that you can find the full write-up and the fretboard diagrams, the tabs, the backing tracks and everything else over on the website, absolutely free. The link will be below the video in the description. Plus, if you're on YouTube, then please do like and subscribe to the page. Leave us a comment. We do our best to get back to every single comment that you guys make. Thanks. Right then, guys. So the rule is essentially, and I'm going to call it, the one behind rule, <laughs> or the one in front rule, you might say, whatever way you look at it. But essentially, in fact, let me walk you through, okay? So let's just come back to that lovely key of A. Okay. And we've got this concept of where we can do the minor third to the major third. Okay, we, now, we know how to do that now, okay? That, that kind of movement. Now, when you've done that movement and you're sitting there, on the major third, wouldn't it just be lovely for that to be the launch pad? So at the moment, we're kind of going to the major third and then straight back into that minor pentatonic. So it gives you a little glimpse of the major back into minor, which is, which is really good and it's something you can work with and it sounds amazing. You know, those little flashes are great. But what if you wanted to just go straight into the full whack major pentatonic, which is absolutely feasible over your blues key. You know, over A blues, you can definitely switch between major and minor pentatonic. You just don't know how very easily. Well, if you can do that, if you can go from minor to major, minor third to major third, then all you've got to remember is the one behind rule or the one in front rule, whatever way you want to think of it. But essentially, if I'm in minor pentatonic box one, in that place where I've switched between minor third and major third, the pentatonic box that I'm now in, in major, is one ahead. Let's call it one ahead, okay? So, i.e. it's box two. So if it's box one minor, it's box two major. If it's box three minor, it's box four major. If it's box five minor, it's box one major, okay? It's always one ahead or one behind. All depending on which way you, you kind of look. If you come at it from a major point of view, it's the other way around, of course. So doesn't really matter what it's called, it's just the remembering of that. So if I'm going from minor third to major third, I now know that here now somewhere, this note is in my box two, because I was in box one minor, and now I'm in box two major. All I've got to do is distinguish as to what note that is in box two major, okay? And remember, remember, this is the important part here, it's gonna be very much within your vicinity of frets, okay? So you're not gonna go too far higher or lower, it's gonna be pretty much around there. So you need to kind of know your stuff, remembering also that, you know, your A is here, you know where your A root notes are across the neck, so you're gonna definitely be hitting those. Um, and I would then be like, okay, right, okay, so that's box two, so I know box two, box two, just think box two. Box two, box two. You're just thinking box two. Box two. Pentatonic, box two. Box two, box two. Pentatonic, box two. <laughs> That's all you're thinking about. That's all you need to think about the box two. Okay, box two, okay? And there you have it. You were in box two, major pentatonic, all knowing, or only going by the simple fact that you've gone from the minor third to the major third, and that switched you up in terms of your boxes, okay? So here's that 
let's do this again. Okay, so here's a chord. Okay, so oh, that's a that's a pretty crazy chord. Let's do that again. So. So, minor. Now there's the minor third. So let's go up. Using some of the ideas we've got. Oh. But once we're here, that's my invitation to go into box two. Major. And now I'm in box two, the rules apply. Box two, box one is behind, box three is in front. These are just box shapes that go together. We're deciding as to whether they're major or minor or whatever, okay? So minor, major third, no, so minor third, into major third, and then into the full major pentatonic box two. And that crossover of minor major third is just an easy one to always use. Major. Back to the uh, root note, and then from there I can go. You know, going back to that root note when you're in the major really settles it, and then you can go back into the minor again. So, you can do that all over the neck, okay? So if I'm in my A minor, and I come up to my octaves, just like, we're piecing this all together, piece by piece, box three, and then I decide to go from minor third to major third, well, what pentatonic shape am I in? Well, remember, it's three to four, because it's one up, so four. Four, four, four. This is box four. Do you recognise it? Sounds different now because we're in major key, but it's box four. When I'm back on that route, that's an invitation to get back into that minor again. So there's my root in minor, box four. There's my minor third. Switch up to the major third. And because this was box four in minor, it's going to be box five in major, so box five. Okay. Visualize those lovely dreamy boxes. <laughs> okay. And so on and so forth. So, concept here. In the next unit, we're going to be giving you, I'm going to give you some really cool clapped and as practical licks that utilize these concepts. Um, but for now, how cool is that, right? Note one very, very, very important thing, okay? The, whether you call it a major pentatonic or a minor pentatonic, box one is box one. Box two is box two. They look the same. You know, box one looks like this. Or here, box one. Box one. Box two. You know, irrelevant of key or anything else, it's just a box shape, okay? It's like saying, you know, square. It's a square, okay? Whether or not that's a blue square or a green square is totally different. It's a square, isn't it? And when we say major pentatonic box two, that's like saying, okay, that's the green square. When we say minor pentatonic box two, oh, that's a red square, you know, but it's still a square. So that is the box, that's the shape, okay? Then where we put it, determines as to whether it's in the correct key, whether it's a major, whether it's a minor, whether it's a modal uh, version, all these things are where we put the shape. So that's why we can overlay shapes, because you can have one on top of two, because they're totally different keys, and it just so happens that in the blues, when you're talking about dominant seventh chords, you can actually use two totally different keys. You can use an A minor key and an A major key on top of it as long as you use it 
wisely, you know, following these kind of guidelines that I'm setting out, it will sound great. Okay, so the simple trick is find the flat third to major third, which we've done the work with. Then when you're on the major third, it's just a rule of add one. So if it's pentatonic box one, you're in in minor, you're in pentatonic box two in major. And then you just gotta work from there. So pentatonic say one, there's the major, and now I'm in box two. Minor. There's the minor third up to major third, and we're back, okay? So there we have it. Have some fun playing around with that, and we've got one more lesson in this unit. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that. Remember, please do like and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you want the next lesson, you'll find it right here. If you're looking to start the whole course from scratch, you'll find the playlist right here. See you next time.